If you've been preparing for every electrical or P-Power exam, you know that these two exams are quite challenging and they take a lot of effort over a large period of time to get ready for. On the exam day, you are inevitably going to encounter questions that are going to be out of your league, super difficult, super challenging. And one of the things that you'll consider at that point in time is to randomly guess on some of the questions. So is it a good idea to randomly guess on some questions or should you leave them unanswered? This was a question that one of my students asked during a live training session and in this video I'm going to provide you my take on random guessing during FE electrical or PE power exam. But before we dive into the content, I would really appreciate if you could like this video, click the bell icon and the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. That's a good question. That's a good question. So the question is that uh, somebody's asking, if you run into a question you don't know, do not answer it, right? Is this, is this true? Are you penalized for guessing? Short answer, big no. You're not penalized for guessing. Answer every single question. Take a wild guess even if you don't know the answer, okay? Um, what I recommend when you're making guesses is, okay, if you don't know a concept, you know, that use a method of elimination. And what is the method of elimination? The method of elimination is that, okay, I know bits and pieces of this and I can, you know, uh, completely rule out option A and option D. Now it's between B, uh, B and C, okay? So make an educated guess, okay? Even if you were to take a random guess, what is the probability that you're gonna get that random guess? So assuming it's an MCQ, multiple choice question, if there are four options, what's the, what's the probability that you'll get it right? If it's a random, if it's a random guess. We just did probability guys, quickly. What is the probability of getting a question right if it's a random guess and your choices are A, B, C, and D? Exactly, 25%. Exactly, it's not 0%, right? So don't hold back. Uh, ideally, uh, you know, uh, shortlisted by using method of elimination to three choices, uh, four choice, uh, two choices, and you're increasing your odds of success, right? So yeah, uh, I've had one student uh, recently and he told me uh, that was seeing, you know what, I left 10 questions and answered just because I did not get a chance to even select those, uh, the right answers. And guess what, he still passed the exam. The reason was that although his time management was super poor, I mean, there's no excuse for not being able to select, you know, 10, click 10 times. Uh, before submitting or uh, the exam or before the time ends, right? It just takes 10 seconds, 15 seconds, less than a minute. On a five hour, 20 minute exam, if you're not able to extract one minute to sort of just check some boxes randomly, I think that's extremely poor time management, but he still passed the exam. And the reason was that the uh, 90, uh, 90 plus questions that he um, completed of those 90 plus or the 100 questions, he was pretty solid on 80, 85 um, uh, questions. So whatever he answered, he was dead sure on that, those questions, okay? Yeah, so good question. Yeah, don't leave anything unanswered. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're preparing for FE Electrical or P Power exam and are interested in learning more about my exam preparation resources and how they can help you fast track your exam preparation effort, I would recommend you to check out the details in the description of this video. Thank you.